My dear brothers and sisters, how grateful I am for this marvelous, for the marvelous messages of this conference, and for my privilege to speak with you now. The doctrine of the gathering of Israel has captured my attention. Everything about it has intrigued me, including the ministries and names of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, their lives and their wives, the covenant God made with them and extended through their lineage, and the numerous prophecies about the gathering in our day. With the help of two Hebrew scholars, I learned that one of the Hebraic meanings of the word Israel is, let God prevail. The word willing is crucial to this interpretation of Israel. We all have our agency. We can choose to be of Israel or not. We can choose to let God prevail in our lives or not. We can choose to let God be the most powerful influence in our lives or not. The question for each of us is the same. Are you willing to let God prevail in your life? Are you willing to let God be the most important influence in your life? Will you allow His words, His commandments, and His covenants to influence what you do each day? Will you allow His voice to take priority over any other? Are you willing to let whatever He needs you to do take precedence over every other ambition? Are you willing to have your will swallowed up in His? And what is the Lord willing to do for Israel? The Lord has pledged that He will fight our battles. As you study your scriptures during the next six months, I encourage you to make a list of all that the Lord has promised He will do for covenant Israel. Then live and watch for these promises to be fulfilled in your own life. My dear brothers and sisters, as you choose to let God prevail in your lives, you will experience for yourselves that our God is a God of miracles.